Coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing it, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particular here's Bruce Buck. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a strike for years. But tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Just out of range with the big right hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Ooh. Nice straight right lands. Real nice body kick land. Big knee lands there. Oh, nice jab. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh, 
Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. Big knee lands to the body. He is all right. Looks a little wobbly on his feet. Very tricky when you throw that body. And both guys really throwing with authority. That's a big strike right there. Really good body kick. Drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Let's go. Get off first for me. Hey, shoot. Good punch, Lance. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs hit. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Big kick. Lee gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Great punch. Spinning back fist. Just out of range with that left hook. Right hand on point. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Liver kick. How's he gonna follow this one? Misses with the right hand. Oh, nice job to block the kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie. Lee gets hit with a kick. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Just misses with the straight left hand. Seconds to go in round one. Oh, color tie. Look at how he drives his knee. Right into the polar trick section. Goes back to that left kick once again. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so big round four in there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC talked us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. Significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Good stick. Oh, 
liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Just missed with the left there. What a body kick. Lee's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Just misses with that one. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Nice punch there. He blocks the punch. Upstairs. Back and forth we go. Missed with that attempt. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Single collar tie now, and they separate. Nice straight punch. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with this beautiful leg kick. Throwing that jab, no good. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. What a tricky head kick. All combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. There. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. being applied here as he works out of side control. Back to the feet. Big off punch land. Now he gets back to range. Try to establish that jab. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loves it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called to stop this contest at three minutes, 44 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. No shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I gotta think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out there. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. 
I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands, but ultimately it was the kick that was hit behind the punch that finished the fight for him. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice 